So welcome ladies and gentlemen, so I thought, you know what, let's just go ahead and play this farewell match, you know, let's finish on a high-ish, and uh, just have a little bit of fun, and I also forgot to, um, to show you sort of top goal scorers and stuff uh, for in the last video, I didn't, I didn't really want it to drag on for like 20 plus minutes, but let's go ahead and do that, so I'm going to show you the main leagues, and sort of the best players for that league, top goal, goal scorers, top assists, and all that fun jazz so um yeah without further ado let's uh, let's go ahead so we'll start with england uh, the premier league let's do individual titles so the player of the season was allison mané was top scorer andre gomez was top assist leader uh, and jürgen klopp was the best manager in the premier league so it was mané he had 18 goals bamiang had 17 higuain and gareth bale interesting there both with 15 apiece, along with Vardy. Top assists, as you said, Andre Gomez from Everton up there with Pereira from uh, Watford and Tillsman from Leicester City. Mata was up there for Manchester United. And the team of the season, as you can see there, Mane up top with Gareth Bale. Uh, you got Eriksen just behind him. Theo Walcott made it. Valencia from Manchester United, a bit of a, a shock there. Uh, Van Dyke at the back with Alderweireld and Allison in goal. And looking at France, it was Neymar, top player of the season. Cavani, top goal scorer, assist leader was Mvila. And the best manager went to the PSG manager, Tuchel. So uh, he did well. Uh, there's Cavani, 19 goals for him. Gradel had 17 in Toulouse. Uh, Balotelli, Mr. Balotelli, finishing in third with 15 for Marseille. And there's the top assists from Vila, Placil, and Tiervin from uh, Marseille. And the team of the season. So, Sergio Ramos. I forgot. We sold him to Panic Saint Germain. So, he did all right, I guess. I mean, he picked up a, a trophy. Not really a surprise. Paris Saint Germain always win it. Uh, but up top, we've got Cavani, Neymar just behind him, Cabela, uh, and Vila playing uh, as defensive mid. So, looking at City A, ah, Cristiano Ronaldo had a pretty good season there. Player of the season, top scorer as well. Uh, Bazzali was the assist leader, and Allegri was the best manager. Uh, Ronaldo had 24 goals, just one ahead of Ian Dzeko. He had a pretty good season himself. Uh, and Belotti and Immobile, both with 20. Uh, top assist, Bazzali had the 12, along with Sensi from Sassuolo. Uh, and Zonzi finished in third with 11 and a look at team of the season. You've got Ronaldo up there with Dzeko. Nangalan just behind him. Uh, Donnarumma in goal with Chiellini and uh, Romagnali at the back. Now looking at the Dutch league. There's Zuit from PSV. He was the player of the season. Nesed finished top scorer. Shone assist leader. And Von Bommel, best manager. Coming back from his playing days to pick up the best manager award. Uh, there is your top goal scorers. Not too many goals, to be fair, but there are less teams in uh, the Dutch league. Uh, looking at the top assist there. Pretty decent. Ajax players, Modric as well. Forgot we sold him to Ajax. He finished in third with nine assists. And finally, let's have a look at team of the season. Robin van Persie making an appearance up top there. Modric just behind with De Jong on the right. Uh, De Ligt. In there as well, centre-back. And looking at La Liga, it was Sal, finished player of the season. Messi, unsurprisingly, your top scorer. Condogbia, top assist leader. And Diego Simeone of Atletico Madrid got the best manager award. So finally, the goals for La Liga. Messi top, 23. Griezmann second, 21. And then we had Coutinho, Gudez, and Gomez all on 18. Overall, we had Sun finishing on 12. Uh, Crows had 10. Pretty good season for Tony Crows, considering he's a midfielder. Ian Hazard had 10. Uh, then we had Mariano with 8. So he wasn't too bad. Uh, top assists. Uh, Kondobia, 14. Paranjo had 13. Rakitic on 12. And for us, Tony Crows, once again, not too bad. 7 assists for him. A uh, bit of a selection down the bottom with Sun, Hazard, and Felix picking up 5. And Ziyech had four. 
And the team of the season, I think I showed that in the last video, but for some reason I had so many of our players, we would have thought we would have won the league, the Champions League, and the Copa del Rey. Uh, but we didn't, so I don't know why they stuck all our players in there, but there it is. Okay, so that's pretty much the main sort of leagues I want to go over. So now let's have a look at what we're going to go for against the old boys. Uh, that's the lineup. Kind of similar. I'm going to play players that are sort of up for it, buzzing. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's get into this one. I thought we might as well do another match. Um, we could crank it up to legend, I guess, to really test ourselves. But I'm going to leave it on superstar. I know some people are saying about challenge mode, but I, I've always played on challenge. I don't play on classic. I play on challenge mode, so that's kind of the way we go. Anyway, let's dive into this one and see how we do. So we're back out of the burner baron for the final game of the whole season. Real Madrid take on the old boys, the players that are retiring. They've had a cracking, cracking career. And it's time to end on a high. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's dive right into today's action with the 90 minutes of football to be played at a minimum. So the referee gets this game underway. Real Madrid will be in the all-white today with the old boys is what they're calling them playing in the black from right to left question is how well will Real Madrid play you know it's the final game it's a chance to have a little bit of fun enjoy themselves and maybe score a couple of goals as well they're not going to take the old boys lightly though Bose playing that one to Marcelo towards Nacho Oggi Zola tried to flick it on for Tony Kroos. Worked out well though, hasn't it? Junior, too easy. Robinho. Been a while since you've seen him play. Tony Kroos just trying to feed that one back. Real Madrid, Alora. Definitely not sitting back. And well, it came off the stanchion in the end. A ferocious strike here by Casemiro. A bit of high pressure. Brown with a risky clearance. I think the goalie gets a hand onto this. Casemiro. Laying it off to fight. Tony Kroos! Man, he hit that with some pace. Goalie saw it all the way. Well, Tony Kroos has scored a selection of free kicks this season. He'll be looking to score another one here, but... Well, Gehrma saw it all the way there. It was relatively comfortable for him. Chance for the free kick here. And a yellow card for Brown. The Celtic man with the uh, multicolored boots. Well, he was very close to Felix and he wasn't giving him the time of day. And in the end, he just smacked him in the face. Well, this could be the opening goal. Depends how... Uh, Tony Crows manages to take it. Oh, he's rightfully it off the crossbar. Well, he just sort of faked the goalie out. Try to go for the other post. The final minute of the first half. First Bursa looking for Robinho. Haven't created too much here, the old boys. Been a difficult half for them. Hold on, Giazzola. Smashes it clear, and the referee does blow for half time. We have no goals yet. Couple of chances. Ramager have hit the bar, but still no luck. So Ramager make a couple of changes. We can make up to six substitutes today for today's match. And Luigi's opted to make two of them. Bringing on uh, Regulon for Marcelo. And Paul Pogba as well in a in a first half that was all Real Madrid. I think they have five attempts to young, uh, the young boy zero. And that would have been their opening chance there. Flick back inside, looking for Hazard. Casemiro wins it. Pogba flicks it on. Back to Pogba, nicely worked, but the Frenchman couldn't quite get there ahead of his man. Might see a higher tempo second half here from both teams. 
Good ball out wide to Abate as uh, Regulon comes across and does really well to stick a foot in. Swung up the line. Pogba. Tony Crows. Feeds it up the line. Comes off the face there of... Uh, quite sure who that was. Diara maybe. Or Robinho, sorry. Here's Crows. Pogba, never afraid to bring it forward if he needs to. Flicks it back to Casemiro. Real Madrid biding their time. Crows, Casemiro. Oh, lovely football! Oh, that's more like it, isn't it? The quick interplay, the give and goes. And it's Casemiro getting on the score sheet set up by Mariano. Well, someone's had too many pies right there, but nicely worked, wasn't it? It was patient build-up play. Casemiro to Crows. Give and go. Look at this reverse ball. Spot on. Great finish. Felix just lays it off to Odriozola. He will take claim. Pogba, lovely little turn from him. He's still going, and he's won himself the foul. A cheeky little flick there as he sort of flicked it over the defender. Couple of apologies, nothing malicious in it. You can see here, just got it. Little cheeky flick. And then a bit of obstruction, if anything. Where it's gonna be, Mr. Paul Pogba! Oh dear, oh dear, that had some swerve on it. We have another look at it from this angle. Just watch the ball up and down, and I tell you what, that's not far away, is it? Has he got some real bend on this, some whip, some knuckle shot swerve, and oh, it wasn't far. So Real Madrid make three changes. Sun's on for Felix, Casemiro replacing Ziyech. As uh, Pogba does win the header, and Odriozola's come off. And that was a strike and a half, wasn't it? So Sirius really got hold of this. I'm not going to see a replay of it. Maybe it was further away than we first thought. Mariano still up top, Hazard still up there, though we haven't seen too much of Eden Hazard today, and he's just been, uh, I don't know, a little bit complacent over the last few months, Eden Hazard. He was starting to pick it up and score some goals, but a little bit disappointing, I think, for his standards. Ended up scoring 10 goals for Real Madrid. Pogba throws. Well, there was a chance, or there would have been offside. Here comes Cavahau now. He's got Sun inside of him. Pogba. Tony Crows towards Ziyech. He's got fantastic left foot. He's not going to need it with a challenge like that. It's a good-looking ball down the line as well. Ramajid do have a lot of pace coming forward and uh, plenty of cover. But the free kick's been awarded. Is that against Real Madrid or for them? It looks like it's... Uh, going to be for the old boys mm, there's a challenge from Nacho thought it was decent Robinho comes off for the final 10 minutes among uh, a few other players as well are we going to see another goal there hasn't been a, a ton of chances that's for sure there's an effort and Rudet with a go on his left foot I don't know how close this was Certainly looked like Catois was uh, struggling to get across, but he didn't hesitate. Struck it first time. On clearance. Great header by Mariano. Hazard. Mariano back to Eden Hazard. And he is one-on-one. -on -one. Can he finish it off? No, he can't because a goal he was equal to it. Fine keeping in the end. But that's more like the Eden Hazard that we know got a very good left foot as well as his right struck it cleanly only got two good hands onto it Pasito well played Nacho good covering by him and Rafael Varane fizz it up the line to find Ziyech heavy touch by him though in fact a very poor touch to give it away in that position and there is an opening chance but the finishing's been a little bit poor at times and the final change, Meluso comes on. 
to just wind down the clock. Noddy back up the line. Final few seconds remain. Are we going to see a late, late bit of drama? Well, I guess we're not. Swung around the other way. There's the full time whistle. The players applaud. Not too many goals, was it? Just the one from Casemiro. A couple of chances as well, but all that matters is the old boys are now retiring, moving on elsewhere. I'm sure some very well may become managers. Some may just decide that's enough. And some will just continue to uh, blossom elsewhere with other clubs. But an entertaining season for Real Madrid in the sense that it was close, wasn't it? Close, but no cigar in numerous competitions. Semi-finalists in the Champions League and the Copa del Rey. And finishing third in the league. There it is. Nine attempts to three. Not on target for the old boys. Disappointment for them. Man of the match was Casemiro. So there we have it. Just finished uh, Finished on a win at least. You know, one goal to nil. I would have just shown sort of the highlights from that matchup. There weren't too many enthralling moments. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd finish on, uh, on, the, on the farewell match. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty much that. So I've shown the top goal scorers to you guys. There's uh, Danny Alves wishing the club all the best. It's been a journey, but to be honest, I couldn't be happier about what I've achieved to my football family. I wish you the best and thank you. Well, thank you very much. We're interesting to see if they have increased upon showing these videos in the next Master League edition. I will say next year, when I play PES 2020, I'm going to be hopefully getting a lot more seasons going i know this year i only had the man united and then the real madrid and yes it does take me time to play these matches i, I you know i do work full time you know i can't do two three four matches in a in a video ultimately i like to do one match a video concentrate on that and then put out the next one but giving you guys daily content of seven days a week you know if not six minimum five but generally it's six seven videos a week so next year i'm hoping to have more seasons. I really just want to start one with Manchester United and then go from there. See what happens. Um, you know, we may be missing a couple of things, a couple of teams to start off with. But I just want to have a good, solid run in Master League. Things happen. Create your own story and really just enjoy it. That's the main thing. So let, let me know your... Actually, before we finish this off, I want to have a bit of a vote. Um, who do you think was ultimately the best player of the season i want to i want to i want you guys to let me know in the comments below so varan's one of my favorite players of eden hazard um didn't really do a whole lot unfortunately we didn't do a whole lot but i do want to have a look so here's the manager offers this is what we have lined up for us if we decided to do anything i'm not i'm just going to leave it i would probably take barcelona <laughs> just say you know what it is what it is let's just go there so this is what happened, so you guys can have a feel of it, a bit of a gist of it. Let me know your top player this season. Pretty much the way, I wish you could sort them by ratings, but the best player rating-wise was Couture had a 6.5. Uh, Tony Crows had a 6.5. Likewise did Hazard. Uh, Mariano. Uh, Pogba had a 6.5 as well. 6.4 for Sun was also pretty solid. So, I think for me, personally, my player of the season would be Tony Kroos. Um, you know, he played 51 games for, this, for us this season. 13 goals, 10 assists. It's not bad for a midfielder. Likewise, Eden Hazard had 50, uh, 50 games played, 16 goals, 7 assists. It was 18 goals for Sun. Also had a pretty good season. You know, 18 in 47. Respectable. No one really stood out too much. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Out of all these players who played, who was your player of the season? For me, I would have to go, though, for Mr. Tony, Tony Crow. So let's just advance, proceed into next season just to finish this whole season off. So there's a look at the season records for you. Season results, 35 wins, 10 draws, 15 defeats. That's way too many defeats. Way too many. Uh, club ranking second. We won the FIFA World Club Cup. But we finished semi-finalists in the Champions League, runner-up in the Super League, runner-up in the World Selection Challenge, semi-finalists in the Copa del Rey. Not too worried about their World Selection and the, the Super Cup. Uh, but we did get into the Champions League next season. This is pretty much how we played. Uh, more of a possession game, short pass. 
all that defense a little bit more than aggressive but yeah it was it was kind of very even you know you look at the way we attacked it was quite even as well across the board ball winning areas generally not too bad um conceding goals conceded a fudge lunge and um, that's not even a word but a fudge load of goals sort of after the hour mark too many of them um through pass was the way we conceded we scored a lot of goals from through passes we scored the majority of our goals just before half time and probably just before 90th minute really that's quite funny isn't it 31st to 45th minute and the 76th to the 90th minute and um there's some some stats for you which might make your decision for the best player a little bit better tony crow's top of the dribbling the passing and the passes received mariano was top of shooting aerial battles won it's pretty good aerial battles varam was very good as well when he played so there we have it so the new season is underway it didn't tell me uh well who went up and who went down didn't tell me Oh no, there is no second division, is there? That's why. There's no second division in La Liga. Completely forgot about that. Alrighty, but there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is all for this playthrough with Real Madrid. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be back shortly. If you've got any suggestions for other videos, be sure to let me know. But until next time, subscribe for more. Take care.